hi guys welcome back or welcome to my channel not this fly wow okay let's take that again <laughs> hi guys welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new i'm your girl johanna montana nambinga macy money bye and i am back again with another uh video yeah i want to say vlog but this wouldn't be a vlog it's just a video um that i've been planning on making for the longest of time my goodness, this fly. There's a dustbin right right there outside and so the flies are just like coming in and it's so annoying. I guess it also wants to be in the video, but we do not discriminate. We allow everyone to be part of this channel. Even flies. <laughs> so I was saying, um you know when you go away from home for such a long time and then you come back and then everything just feels so different. And um, I had initially come back home after a very, very long time. Um, I left home in 2019 and we're currently in 2024. I left home for school to go to window for school. And then I'll just come visit occasionally, maybe like once a year or once after two years. That's, that's how it's been and this time i came to stay for like at least a month or two and being here just like humbled me man it's not humble it's just like wow we've really grown looking around the house and everything everything feels so smaller everything just feels so i don't know man it feels so smaller and I remember this one time I was sitting alone at home and I remember thinking how did my entire family just have dinner in this crib and it didn't even feel like it didn't feel small it felt like such a big house and it felt like I don't know how to describe this man I just thought I should make this video to show y'all or to rather remind myself of where I came from because I know you guys have been seeing videos of me vlogging especially um, in my um, Sunday reset video and you guys have seen how the place I, I live at in Windhoek looks like and all of that on YouTube I said I'm gonna be absolutely myself and this house this house is what raised me this house is who I am and this house created most of my childhood memories and I'm never ever gonna shy away from where I come from I'm never gonna shy away from what raised me you get yes we didn't grow up in a very privileged home but like this home has been like everything it's a bed two bedroom house a two bedroom house but growing up this house felt so big because the love in this house was so big and I never felt like I lacked anything right so i just want to i just want to give you guys a tour on this house this house was one of the very first houses in in Quizabund, right uh, i think my dad moved in this house in 1997 that was a shortly a year after my eldest sister was born so i was born in this house i started this youtube channel to be my digital diary right and I feel like some years I want to go look back at this video and be like, wow, this is actually the house that made me. Dang, I don't know. I don't even, there's no words that can express what I, I'm trying to say right now. But I want years later for my children to look back at videos like this and really see where their mother came from, where they, yeah, where the mother came from. Because I feel like. I am gonna be a very successful woman okay i'm gonna live in a very very big house and i'm gonna be a rich auntie <laughs> that's a fact i know for sure so i just want to take this opportunity while this house is still standing to to film it and to have this memory forever because i want to remember where i come from i want to remember everything about this it's crazy you know it's crazy because 
um i know eventually all of us will leave this house my sister left this house in 20 in 2015 or 2016 she left to go to winduk and then it was just my mom my dad my little brother and i in the house and then i left the house in 2019 i moved to winduk in 2019 so it was just my little brother my mom and my dad and then my mom moved to the village to go stay in our house that is in the village because she got she got an early retirement and um, then it was just my dad and my little brother so my little brother moved last year to Windhoek. So it's just my dad in this house now. It's just my dad living in this house. And um... <laughs> yeah, man. I don't... And you know, since I'm self-employed now, since I'm self-employed, I figured I should come back home. I spend some time with my dad. Sorry for that fly. <laughs> I should spend some time with my dad and just soak in all the memories while this house is still standing because my dad is growing old and eventually he'll also move out of this house. So I just figured I should, I should, you know, make a video <laughs> of the house just so I have memories of it, lasting memories of it, visual memories of it. So yeah, let me guys show you a house tour of the crib that raised me and uh, yeah how uh, where do we start where do we start let's start with the kitchen well <laughs> first of all the kitchen the sitting room the dining area is all one room okay this is the beauty of it because then that allowed us to like spend quality time together for example my sister and i would be in the kitchen cooking my dad would be sitting here watching tv uh, uh, with my little brother and all so it was not we didn't grow up in a big house and that would be an advantage because you know in big houses you have the dining area and then you have the kitchen in another room and then the um, sitting area in another room uh, which allowed separation from family you know so this little house allowed us to spend time together as a family and like bond you know so um yeah i'm excited for this let me show you guys around a lot has changed now a lot has changed since mom have moved out because now it's just a man that lives in this house you get and the house looks more empty now it looks very empty but i'm gonna show you guys what's still standing i'm so excited for this let me show you yeah this this is the overall look of it right this is the overall look of the kitchen slash dining area uh yeah and thus all my friends would know that this was a very special chair in my house this one was strictly prohibited in this was my dad's chair he built it himself he built this chair he there were actually two and one was very wobbly we were permitted to sit on that one but this one was the king's chair and no one would sit in this chair this is my little brother in his grade 12 uniform um yeah so my mom would put all our displays in here our trophies our uh, medals our certificate and all our school achievements and on this area she would always she would always have um decorative cutlery and like pictures of our family and here there was uh <laughs> oh my goodness i'm getting excited okay okay hold on so in this area this area there was always like a, a dvd stand i don't know if you guys remember people had a dvd back in the days well if you're from the 90s and early 2000s i bet you know what a, t a dvd is so our dvd used to be here um, and then here used to be this used to be like the tv it was those big tvs with the boxes with the boxes at the back that's the open space so the wires and everything would go there yeah what was up here i forgot what was up here um no up here was like all these things you know uh, my mom got these like donut maker in a company where she used to sell like uh essentials like perfumes uh deodorants uh lotions and stuff like that it's a company called Everish lane uh yeah so this was it this was ah uh, this was it we had a slightly smaller table this one is much bigger we had a slightly smaller table and our entire family when it's dinner time would come to sit together on this table and 
this Ogascopa was right here, right? So while we're having dinner, we would be watching TV as a family and usually we would be watching news because we'd have dinner at eight. We would always eat together as a family. And uh, yeah, so we never had this. This, I think this just came in 2021. Oh, there, these, I remember my mom bought these, I think when I was five. I think I was five when mom got these and yeah I don't remember what was up there I'll ask my sister and this was always for the cups mugs and all of that let me show you guys something very interesting so <laughs> this this cup right here <laughs> I remember wait hold on let me just so um this cup right here right this right here used to be our breakfast coffee mug so what would happen is um whoever was responsible of making coffee that day would make coffee in this mug and it felt big at the time it felt very big and so from this cup all of us would like get sufficient coffee in each of our cups i don't know if that makes sense but like we used to actually get satisfied by dividing this tiny cup this definitely has so much memories this this is something i'd want to keep forever because it holds so much sentimental value and uh what else what else oh something important hold on let me show y'all in here we have this right so this this right oh sorry this right here um this right here was <laughs> this was a monument from my parents uh wedding cake Thank you for the water. Katontati, thank you for the water. The water. The water. Oh. Tine, you're welcome. Oh. Welcome. Mm. Welcome. Welcome. Eh? Welcome. Welcome. What do you want, Tine? Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> welcome. What are you I am not going to do it. I am not going to do it's a It's a good one. 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 Mm. Yeah, I'm not going to take no. Mmm. 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 i how are you? Mm. You know that? Yeah. Oh, sorry for that, guys. So that was my dad. My dad had just like brought water. He came from work to come bring me water because um, the first time I came here and I drank the tap water, it it gave me diarrhea. Okay, so now he's made it an obligation to keep buying water for me. And uh, yeah, 
Thank you, Tate. You see, you see why I can never like settle for less in a relationship? Because I already know how a man is supposed to treat you. Do you get? You're out here, now you're out here um, forcing men to text you back while you have a father who shows you all this love. Could never be me. Anyway, <laughs> so where were we? We were um, at this, right? I was showing you guys this. So this was a, a little something that was that was on my parents wedding cake yeah this was on my parents wedding cake and that was i don't even remember what year they got married because i know my mom got married when she was 25 and right now my mom is 54 no 56 7 my mom should be 56 7 late 50s and um, she got married when she was 25 and this was on their birthday on their wedding day cake so you can just imagine <clears throat> how old this is excuse um yeah so this has a lot of sentimental value <laughs> that's why my dad was making fun of me uh when he came around and found it on the table he was like wait uh are you trying to are you trying to tell me something i said nope not right now not right now but uh soon and very soon we are going to see the <laughs> So I figured this 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 has a lot of sentimental value and uh, yeah, what else can I show you guys? I think we're done for the no, we're actually not done. Wait, hold on. Let me show you guys this So I've shown you guys the overall view of the house, right? So this This has been here ever since the year 2000 This has been here this map this map has been here ever since the year 2000 and bro let me show you one funny, funny story guess who did this <laughs> guess who did this i did that i think i was i was in primary school or kindergarten probably yo i i was brave Shem. i was brave it was the times of gaza gaza against amshasho and we were team gmp for life and i even scratched that on my door Ah, oh my goodness, I was so stupid. And then this clock has been here ever since I could remember it. It, it. It's a cuckoo clock, but it doesn't work anymore. It had like a little bell somewhere here. So when the clock strikes midnight, or was it just 12? 12 p.m., I think. And then it would go off. The birds would go cuckoo, cuckoo. And then this cabell would ring. And then on here, on this, I almost said dashboard. What do you call this? So on this place was um was pictures of our family and family of friends of family hence the boss stick all around the place i'm planning on renovating that part and just like getting other pictures there again so on here was not always this empty there was like huh what do you call it? there was like decorative stuff that you flip when you want to go to the other side and then we go all the way down the corridor and then you would find the shower there you would find the shower and um, on here you would find the sink uh, the mirror this recently broke it was never like this and this mirror has been here ever since I could remember ever since I was born I think I'd like to think no I think maybe when I was ever since I was five at least this mirror has been here and then this is the toilet that's the toilet and yeah let me tell you let me tell you the funniest thing right hold on let me just close the door before someone comes in let me just so growing up growing up um oof, okay growing up <laughs> so growing up this mirror used to be so tall right so this is like this this is like the mirror right but then i remember i remember growing up i used to be climbing on these on these uh basins to look at myself in the mirror because then i would only see myself at this part of the mirror like my forehead would only show here so meaning i was this short when i used to like look at myself in the mirror and now <laughs> amen it's crazy. I remember growing up how short I was and like 
when I looked at myself in this mirror at the time, I would only see my my head here, like my forehead would be here. Meaning I was like, that's how I would see myself growing up. And that's only when I climb on these bases. Then I'll see myself like this tall. That's the only part of my face I would see. So I'd usually take one of these, if I want to see myself in the mirror, to climb on it, and then I would be at least this height, I think. Yeah. So, yeah. It's crazy, man. And in my grade 12, I don't know if you guys remember those years of... You know how people used to... The girls used to take uh, selfies behind the curtains, behind white curtains and whatnot? This used to be my spot, bro. This used to be my spot. I thought I ate with this spot because the lighting was always so good here. And I would always be like in this little corner and look all cute or whatnot and take like the cutest selfies. Well, I thought they were cute at the time. Now that I look back, not not so much. <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't know. Should I should I continue showing you guys the place or I feel like this video is gonna be so long, so I'm just gonna end it right here. Um, yeah, excuse me. Sarai. <laughs> so I'm just gonna end this video right here. If you guys want to see um, the room or like the yard of the house, let me know in the comment section and I'll do a tour on the room and the yard and I'll share like childhood memories of the um, of, of the rooms and the childhood memories I had of the yard and if you guys want to see the street, the neighborhood, just let me know in the comment section and I'll also do a little vlog on that. But thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this sets as a reminder to go back home, to just like live in the moment of home and never, never like, never be ashamed of where you come from because that is the foundation you were set with and that is the place that raised you, that is the place that made you who you are and um if you have like negative memories of the place then look at it as go back revisit those moments and like look at it as you are just coming here to put flowers on that grave as in you survived through that household if your household was full of abuse if your household was full of um, negative parents come home put flowers on that grave that you have conquered it you have become a bigger and better person and just strive to be a better person for your kids and create new memories with your kids um as you grow older but yeah man i feel like this these are resets we all need in life we need to go back at times to just reflect on our childhood to reflect on where we come from just so we remain humble and uh, yeah if you've enjoyed this video please give it a huge thumbs up comment in the comment section if you want me to do more tours of my childhood bedroom or like my childhood yard where i used to play as a kid growing up and i will be sure to do that don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give it a huge thumbs up and i appreciate you guys for staying till this long i know this was a very long video but I highly, highly, highly appreciate you. You have no idea. So until next time, deuces.